It's a chance to see how the Inauguration Day events are depicted on front pages around the country and the world. Some early morning joggers and strollers checked out the newspaper headlines on display at the museum. More than 100 newspaper front pages were on display in front of the Washington, D.C. Museum Wednesday. It brings tears to your eyes. It's really a remarkable historical moment for all of us, especially for us that were in the civil rights in the 60s and large from D.C. It's, it's a great overview. I mean, it's really remarkable. I, mean, I was out in the mall yesterday watching this thing, and just seeing the depth of response throughout the country is it's gratifying. I walked by here um, the day after Election Day, and it was just great to read all those headlines. It's just great to see see how all the papers across the country are talking about yesterday's inauguration. With the new era comes a sense of hope. A new poll suggests that Americans feel more optimistic about the country's future with Obama as commander-in-chief by a margin of 3 to 1. The Associated Press Knowledge Network's poll was conducted Tuesday and involved online interviews with 835 adults. Definitely was a great moment in history. Um, I was glad to be a part of it, not there in Washington, but right in my living room watching him. He's awe-inspiring, and yes, he definitely has a lot of work ahead of him, but God is on his side, and he definitely will succeed. I'm still not sure how foreign policy will play out. I'm not sure how some of the social issues uh, revolving around uh, life will play out, but... Uh, but I think he's really invigorated the, uh, the, uh, the American people. I think he's given people some, some hope for change. And I think that's good as long as it's changed in the right direction. And change is already underway. President Obama stepped into the Oval Office for the first time as chief executive on Wednesday. He summoned economic advisors and top military officials to separate meetings aimed at delivering the change he promised as a candidate. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.